Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. If you didn't know, hi, hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you joined in to watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get competition ready. It's kind of a get ready with me kind of thing. Not really a tutorial. It's more of just like a me bringing you guys along with getting ready with me because this is a very highly requested video. So yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm a competitive all-star cheerleader. I'm on Top Gun Double O and this is my competition hair and makeup tutorial. <laughs> so if you're interested to see how I got this look, here we go. <laughs> Hello! Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start with taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this stuff. I use this primer all the time, whether it's competition or anything else, this is the primer that I use. I'm gonna just take a nice thin layer of that all over the face. Okay, next, I'm kind of in between tans right now. I normally use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It works best with my Retin-A. I have two different shades, one for when I'm spray tan, one for when I'm not. My spray tan is kind of fading right now, so I'm gonna still use the one for the spray tan, but if anything, I might have to like, probably just do like a light layer instead of, normally I do two pumps, so for this, I'll probably just do one. I'm not really sure why my nose is very like peely right now. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. It's definitely dry, so just ignore that. <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty solid layer right there. Again, I'm kind of peeling. I'm gonna go in with tweezers after and just like get rid of that situation. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Neutral and I use this exact one whether I'm spray tan or not. I feel like it does the job either way. And we're just gonna go underneath the eyes and then lightly over any problem areas. My problem areas aren't too, too bad and I don't love to put concealer over them because concealer is lighter and it's meant to bring more attention and brighten up areas and we don't want to brighten up our problem areas if that makes sense so i normally will just take extra foundation and put them over any problem areas that i have again my skin is a little dry so that's unfortunate <laughs> But it is what it is, you know? I mean, not really much I can do about that. Now I'm going to take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years. I'm just going to do a nice thin layer of powder over my whole face. Next, we're gonna go in with the Morphe Continuing Setting Mist. This one is the mattifying one. I actually don't love it. It's just the only one that I have right now. I prefer the original one. I got the mattifying one to try it, but I feel like the other one is a lot more hydrating to my skin, so I definitely prefer the original, but this is all I have right now, so I'm gonna use this. And you're gonna see like throughout this video, I use this spray at least three or four times throughout the course of doing my makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with more of my face makeup. I'm gonna take my Hoola bronzer. Love this bronzer. I'm gonna just take a nice big fluffy brush. Get a nice generous amount on there. You don't wanna like do a whole ton, but a generous amount for sure. Basically just go a little on my cheekbone, but I'm gonna go in the direction where it's like in the middle of my cheek to then up by the like top of my ear, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna go up my whole forehead line. Forehead line, hairline? <laughs> question mark and then the same thing on my chin so kind of like that little like re motion if that makes sense i know that that's like a trick that a lot of people use honestly my brain is like mush from all the cheer that's been happening over the last like three weeks <laughs> everything just kind of like meshes together and i'm not like i i, I can't formulate proper sentences <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is one of the mini palettes, which I highly recommend having a palette like this as opposed to the massive palette because in the big palette, it's got like a contour and a highlight for like different types of, I guess, like skin tones or depending on what you wanna use it for, maybe that palette is better for you. I found that I was only using one shade of the bronzer and one shade of the highlight. So they make these individual packets where they sell each of like the individual pairs. And it's half the price. So I really like to use this as opposed to the big, big palette. And it takes up so much less space in my makeup bag when I'm traveling. So I'm gonna go in with the contour shade. I'm gonna do basically go in the same places that I put my bronzer on, but a little more precise and a little heavier. I love contour, big, big contour gal. I like to be really generous with the hairline because this is where you can tell, like especially when your hair goes up into a ponytail, you can see like the difference in skin tone from like obviously my scalp, which is gonna be a lot more pale than my face makeup. I just try to make sure that that's as blended as I can make it. We're gonna do the same thing but on the chin. And then I'm actually gonna go a little bit down the neck to kind of blend everything out. And I normally go like here <laughs> with the contour. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Listen, I'm trying my best, okay? Don't judge me. This is a judgment-free zone. We're all friends here. We're all just trying to share in our positivity and sunshine on this channel. So leave me alone. 
I'm gonna take the highlight shade and I'm gonna go literally just all over the T-zone. So we're gonna go underneath the eyes, down the forehead, frame the face basically, and the areas in between the contour on the cheeks and stuff. We're gonna go in with some blush. This is my favorite blush right now. It's a cream blush by Ocean Girl Beach Cheeks Cream Blush. Looks like this. The brand is Sugar Rush, I believe. And I'm literally just going to take my finger, get some of that on there, and then put it everywhere that I want the blush. And I kind of just like dab it on very, very generously. I love blush. I go from the middle of the cheeks and I kind of go in an upwards motion. And then I'll do like a little bit towards the middle. Bring it in just a pinch. Take just a normal fluffy brush like this and blend that out. I'll start with blending it out on the side, like on my actual cheeks. But then once I feel like that's blended out enough, I'll bring it into the middle. And same thing on the other side. And it kind of looks like a little more sun kiss and like I've been out in the sun even though I really haven't and have been a hermit inside all day. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Pro uh, oh my god, my MAC Studio Fix powder. And I'm in the shade C3. Take this little kabuki brush. Basically put this over my whole face as kind of like a final layer to like seal in all the face makeup that we've done so far. And then we're gonna go in with our second round of setting spray. <laughs> Down in my mouth. <laughs> cute, cute. Okay, next, we are going to go into the eyebrows. I'm gonna skip this portion just because it takes me forever to do my eyebrows and you guys don't care about that. But I will show you stuff that I use for my eyebrows. These two pencils, this powder, and my eyebrow gel. So basically I use the Anastasia Chocolate Brow Powder Duo. And I'll take basically just like an angled brush like this and I'll just dip into the powder. I normally just mix the two shades and I'll fill in my brows completely and then I will use these two brow pencils, the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's the dark brown and the medium brown. I use the dark brown to outline the second half, like the back half of my eyebrow. And then I use the medium brown to go into the front. Then once that's all said and done, I use my Benefit 24 hour brow setting gel. BRB. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I'm just gonna prime up the eyelids so that we can do the eyeshadow. Before I even get started with the eyeshadow, one of the most important things that I do, and I feel like this is what kind of makes my eye makeup specifically look a lot better than it actually is, I take my Beauty Blender with the sharp edge, this edge right here, I don't know if you can tell, but that's a straight line. Get a bunch of the powder onto there, stamp the powder, on the edge of my eye between the corner of my eye and my eyebrow. Now that creates a straight line from the corner of my eye to where my eyebrow hits so that when I put in my eyeshadow, the translucent powder kind of catches anything that would go in that area so that once I'm done with my eyeshadow, I just wipe away this powder and it creates a nice soft but still straight line. And then I'll take the excess and I'll kind of just dab the excess powder underneath the eye to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow in general. Yeah. <laughs> now that I look insane, let's get into the eyeshadow. I personally like to use two eyeshadow palettes. I use a Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette, and then I use this Violet Voss Sakura Blossom Palette. This year with like the new uniforms and everything, we kind of decided we wanted to spice it up and do some kind of like pink and like pops of color in our eyeshadow. I don't personally like to do a whole pink eyeshadow look because that just doesn't look great on me personally, like with my features and just like my skin tone and stuff. So I like to do a normal brown, toned smoky eye but then with like the littlest hint of pink like on the lid and on the waterline and that kind of stuff. I'm gonna start with the Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. Fluffy like blending brush like this. This is my all-time favorite blush brush. Wow. This is my favorite brush for blending out and I'm gonna go into this farthest dark brown in the shade Sting. Take a generous amount on the brush. Stamp some of the color on there and then blend it out so that I'm almost blending it in like a V shape because I personally really love a cat eye effect with a smoky eye. So I'm gonna just blend that out to create that cat eye look and blend it out completely. I go about three quarters of the way in. I don't go all the way into the corner of my eye and I'll just be really generous with that. The key is to blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna go ahead and continue blending this out and then do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna go in with with the next shade right next to that in this palette, HBIC. Kind of more of a lighter but shimmery brown. And I'm gonna take that on the same brush. And that's what I'm gonna use to kind of blend the crease into the full like inner corner of my eye. Now that I've got the whole crease is pretty much taken care of, I'm gonna go on to my eyelid. And this is where we move into the pink palette. I personally really like to do a cut crease. I feel like that's what makes the lid, the color on the lid stand out the most. I'm gonna use this shade up here called Bubbly. This one right here. And I'm gonna put that 
that on first. For the cut crease, we're gonna take our Tarte Shape Tape and a concealer brush just like this. I'm gonna put some of the concealer on the back of my hand, take a nice generous amount on there. We're gonna take concealer right on there, tap off any excess very lightly. Looking down, apply it all over the lid, and I'm literally just like outlining my eyelid with the concealer basically. And then we are going to immediately take that brush, get a nice amount of that bubbly shade on there, and then just tap it right over top of that concealer. This is what it looks like right now with just that bubbly shade on there. So it looks very natural, but with like the slightest hint of pink, with the pink and Tokyo shade, kind of mix those together and put that over top and you're gonna see a little bit more of the pink is gonna be brought out. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but now there's a little bit more pink on there, but it's not like so vibrantly pink. So now that the eyeshadow is pretty much completely done, we're gonna go in with that same pink palette, a bigger flat brush. I'm gonna take this lightest shade in this palette called Blossom, and this is what I'm gonna use to kind of blend the top of the eyeshadow into my brow bone, if that makes sense. I don't like to highlight the brow bone. I don't like that kind of attention brought up there. Lightly, lightly blend out the top of the eyeshadow so that it all kind of looks cohesive. It's not quite so harsh, and this is what's gonna create that almost like seamless transition of where the eyeshadow starts. Okay. So now once all of that is done, we get to do the most satisfying and exciting part, wiping away all of this excess powder. This smaller but big fluffy brush, and it's a small contour brush to be exact. Just gonna wipe away all of that excess powder, ready? And we'll wipe it away. So now that's pretty much it with the eyeshadow on the lids. Now I'm gonna go in with some of my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I do a very dramatic cat eye with my eyeliner. Sometimes they come out even, sometimes they don't. We're gonna put on fake lashes anyway. So you know what, we're, we're it's gonna be a journey. We're in it together, so here we go. First one's done. It's pretty good, not too thick, not too thin, we're solid. I personally find that the trick with winged liner is to not be hesitant with it. You gotta just kinda like go for it and just hope for the best. Oh my god, they came out even. <laughs> Did you see my excitement? Oh my god, it looks really, really good, yay! Oh, we love that for me. Okay, yes. Next, we're going to curl our lashes, and I am going to be putting on fake lashes, but I still wanna put on like a thin layer of mascara. I like to put on my mascara before applying my fake lashes, just because I don't like putting mascara on my lashes, cause then it kinda like ruins the quality of them a little bit, I think. When I curl my lashes, I'm gonna take my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It's my all-time favorite mascara, I love this. And we're just gonna put a nice, easy layer. Now that I have the mascara on, I'm actually gonna go in. This is my little like extra touch of like sparkle and glitter that I like to use on competitions. I don't like to put glitter all over my whole eyelid, but I do like to use this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. And it's in the shade Volume. It's like the pink shade that they have. And I basically am going to outline my winged liner with this. Take that and put it over the top and outline my actual eyeliner with this. I just feel like it added so much. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then just wait for it to dry. I'm now going to go back into the Naked Honey palette and I'm gonna take a super teeny tiny angled brush like this. I'm gonna go back into that same dark brown that we used for the crease and that sting shade. Line my lash line, heavy on the outside, the outer half of my eye, a little lighter with like the inner half of it, like towards the corner, but it's kind of a little more dramatic dramatic going out. I like this effect a lot because I feel like it just adds a lot more drama to the outside of my eye as opposed to like super harsh inside and then I'll just like brighten up the inside with like highlight afterwards. So that's how we're doing with that. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with the eyeshadow and do not need that anymore. Now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On eye pencil in the shade Woodstock. This is a pink eyeliner and I'll line my waterline with it on the outer half and then I'll take a white, the same brand and type of eyeliner pencil but in the shade Y-E-Y-O, the white shade. I'm gonna use this on the outer corner and this on the inner corner. Eyeliner and everything is done. I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I love this mascara on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll mix this with my Better Than Sex Mascara for like the best, best lashes ever for competition. I use this one on my lower lash line to really lengthen those lashes so that when I put my fake lashes on, it kind of like looks a little more cohesive. I just wanna say, I find it so unbelievably impressive how much lashes just like 
transform a look. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Fun fact, I feel like a lot of people struggle with like putting on fake lashes, but it's one of like, for me, I just, I, it's so easy for me to do. I don't know why. Ever since I like started putting them on and stuff, here's like the, my little tricks to putting on your fake lashes. Only take as much glue as you need. A lot of people put on way too much glue and I think that's like where they go wrong. Put enough so that it covers the band. And then once that band is covered, let it dry a little bit. Don't put it on immediately because it won't stick. The glue has to get a little tacky. We just let it dry for a few minutes. And then I literally just like place it right on my lash line and call it a day. Right, and we're literally just gonna make sure you're looking down when you do this and just plop it right on there. And that's it. Make sure that all of the edges are nice and secured. Let it dry. Try not to blink excessively. But like, even if you do blink, not a big deal. My number one tip to make sure that like they're secure and they're on, kind of turn to the side and you should be able to see if the edge of the lash is lifted or not. If you don't see it lifted, that means that it's probably glued on properly. And then once it's like fully, fully dry, kind of pull the lash down slightly and I can see the band in the mirror will either stay put exactly and that's when you know, okay, like the lash is like glued on, it's done. Or if you notice it moves slightly, then you need a little more glue in that spot. And then we just take our lash curler and curl your real and fake lashes together. Now I'm going to go back in with the highlight since fake lashes are done. Highlight brush. I use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlight. I love this highlight. I'm gonna take a generous amount on there. And then we take our setting spray and spray the brush a little bit. Then it'll like go on extra pigmented. And then I just put it right over the cheekbone, nice and generous. And then the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush almost, just like this. Take the highlight and put it on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, all the way down, and then maybe just like the slightest little bit on the inner corners of my eye. Now that the lash and the highlight on, we're gonna do one last dose of the setting spray. Next is gonna be hair. Now, for the hair, we just like do a curled pony, and that's pretty much it. Now, my hair is pretty much already curled from my twirl, so all that's left for me to do is just put it into the ponytail and do lipstick. So, I'm gonna put my hair up and I'll see you guys after. And just like that, we're ready to go! <laughs> that is it for my competition hair and makeup look. The sun kind of went down while I was putting my hair up, so sorry about the lighting change. This was kind of a tutorial, but not really. It was more just like me showing you guys how I do my competition hair and makeup because it was really requested so yeah thanks for watching hope that you enjoy it and i'll see you in my next video bye